Hello viewers, I hope you guys are fine. In today's episode we will know about technical SEO. So let's get started without delay. We discuss about off-page SEO in our last episode. Please, check the i button. So let's start our discussion about the technical SEO. Technical SEO describes improvements you make to how your site is accessed, crawled, indexed, and rendered. They are described as technical as you do need some knowledge of how websites work beyond just typing content or publishing a page, though most elements are still very accessible even for small business owners who might only have a few hours a week to tackle their SEO. Importance of Technical SEO as a result, your website's performance on search engines can make or break your business. The best way to ensure that your website ranks well is to follow the guidelines of search engines and other experts. But, if you're a small business owner who doesn't have the time or money to dedicate to your website's SEO, there are some things you can do to improve your site's SEO without hiring an SEO expert. What exactly are technical SEO issues? Broken links Broken links occur when a page on your website links to another page on your website but the other page no longer exists. If you have a lot of broken links on your website, Google will notice this and consider it a negative factor in its algorithm. This means that your website will be ranked lower than websites with fewer broken links. Poor navigation on the website. Nevertheless, it's important to keep in mind that a low DA doesn't necessarily mean that your website is not relevant. Low backlinks. If your backlink profile is low, your website will be considered less relevant. If your website has low backlinks, search engines will likely rank your website lower. Low clicks. If your clicks are low, your website will be considered less relevant. If your website has low clicks, search engines will likely rank your website lower. Low engagement. If your engagement is low, your website will be considered less relevant. If your website has low engagement, search engines will likely rank your website lower. Problems in H1 tags. If we talk on page SEO, H1 tags are by far one of the essential components. One of the most important parts to note here is that your H1 tag should be 2070 characters long and must contain your primary keyword. If the keyword appears at the beginning of the H1 tag, it's best for your SEO. You need to ensure that your H1 tag represents the purpose or the main idea of the content published on the page. Robots.txt file error. Though this error is not too common, it is worth mentioning. You can find this error listed specifically in Google's guidelines. Unintended URLs can be crawled if your files aren't ordered carefully. This is because your website might have the correct commands, but they may not work in unison. Further, it causes your website not to be indexed properly on search engines. The robots.txt acts as a guide for search engines to crawl your website. Spiders read this text file to determine whether or not they have permission to index the URLs on the site. To solve the error, you need to watch out for a few issues. Broken external or internal links on the website. As I have noted above, the more pages you have indexed, the better your domain authority is. The same applies to broken internal links. This is because when search engine crawlers crawl your site, they follow the links on your site. If they find broken links, they will skip those pages and go to other pages. This means that you lose the opportunity to be found on search engines. 
It also increases the bounce rate and decreases the traffic. Fixing broken external or internal links on the website. In order to fix broken links, you need to find out where the broken links are located. This is because only fixing the broken links that are located at the top level of your website will help. 404 errors. Let's dive into soft 404 errors first. 404 errors, in general, represent broken links, and too many of them hurt your SEO. Additionally, soft 404 errors return a code 200, although they look similar to typical 404 redirects. To fix the issue, developers can update the redirect to guide it to the most relevant alternative. On the other hand, if the pages are non-existent, they can be marked as 404. With this error, search engines believe that the page is working correctly. In some cases, it can be a page with low content. In the end, because search engines believe the page is working correctly, keep crawling and indexing these pages, although it's not something you want. So, it is essential to fix the problem. So, we know about technical SEO today. Hope you understand all the points. If any doubts, please comment below. For next video please subscribe our channel and press the bell button. Thank you.